hour ago we woke up because there was an alarm and it's the bilge water alarm so we're making water it's in the engine room we know send our pilot boss very well as soon as possible them or not Thank you very much for your service, see you later. Ah, I think I found the problem. And we are now approaching an uninhabited island. So over there, we have a lighthouse on it, surrounded by rocks. I'm gonna take away the Genoa to go slowly just around the island and look for a beautiful anchorage. And I am Sherman. And this is our son, Benjamin. 2020 has been a year of adventures and challenges. We drove all the way from Amsterdam to Didem, Turkey to get to our sailing home. We did a total refit and now we can finally start sailing around the world while setting up and expanding our businesses. Join our adventures and welcome on board. Yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's your first dive! Yeah, it's gonna be freezing cold. Bye. No, not the first dive! We did a New Year's dive in the marina! Oh, that's right, that's right! Yes. Yeah, I'm going in! I hate the cold! But I'm thinking about our friends in the Netherlands, Steven! Starting the day very cold is very good, so we're gonna do it. You're gonna do a backflip. No, no, just. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't want my hair to get wet. <gasps> Koud, hè? Koud. Eat that one. Two minutes. These are the most beautiful moments, just washing. Taking a dip in the sea and then washing at the off deck in the morning. Can't wait for it to be a little bit more warmer though. This soap I got from my father when I was little and I never used it. I got two of them and it's very special that we're using them now with uh, when we started our trip from the Netherlands. We used it also with the Land Rover road trip. So great to wake up in a way like this. You had a morning dip, we are having breakfast. We will start doing business. Yesterday we created our own water and we are completely self-sufficient. Almost, almost, almost. The only thing we need is proper internet connection. Super grateful to be able to do this. We also worked pretty hard for, uh, for ourselves to get here, to get where we are today. I think we're pretty blessed. With, Absolutely. With being where we were born, with the, the yeah, technologies the, now. The, the current, current situation. No, no. That we are able to live a life like this in, in Corona times. Bye-bye, Benjamin. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Vroom, 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 vroom. You're going on a dinghy ride with Papa. Ta-da. Ta they are going to explore and I'm going to work a little bit and make us a lunch. Go ahead, Ben. Come on. Yes. One, two, three. Okay. Bye-bye. 
So while the boys are uh, exploring and doing their thing, I'm gonna make pompon risotto. And uh, I already got everything. So I froze two weeks ago. So uh, it's gonna be a vegetarian, vegan uh, risotto. First time I will make it. It's from my favorite two girls from the Netherlands. First one who made vegan really modern and popular in the Netherlands. Two amazing girls, they call themselves the Green Happiness. So cooking and setting up everything for my first online course, which is gonna be launched after this weekend. It's about YouTube SEO. Yeah, then some lunch, then recording again, and then uh, just enjoying a sunset, I think. I just put some clothes on because <laughs> I was naked behind the hill because the wind was shifting and we experienced uh, 31, 32 knots of wind but on the nose and we don't have any room for uh, drifting so when the anchor starts dragging then we are kind of screwed so now we're gonna re-anchor and in principle you should never drag course and we always fix the anchor pretty well but we're very over cautious maybe especially now just starting sailing again uh, and I think you never can be over cautious so we always take the, the route that is most safe so we always want to have some uh, room for dragging if yeah weather changes weather can be unpredictable although we have great confidence in our anchor with a beautiful sunrise, sunrise. And we're loose. Bye bye, beautiful bay. Ram is um, signaling me. We have signals. You always point where the anchor is, and then when the anchor is loose, <laughs> we do like this because then you know the boat can drift and that you uh, can do whatever you want. And there is Scherman, he picked up the anchor, doing his hair. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. And well, we were with the back towards those rocks and we still had, I think, 15 meters. So we didn't have much room for the rocks. No, no, it felt we had to move, so. Yeah, so we do. We maybe, do, we do. Maybe you can turn off the anchor. Why? <laughs> We can do that, let me think. And let's just check on Benjamin. Because it makes a lot of noise, putting on the engine. Genoa. Head sail. Head sail. 
And we have an electrical furler, so we have the button there. And then we have here our winch, which is also electric. You don't have to work out if you don't want to. You can work out if you want to. Yeah, if you want, you can work out. Right, Benjamin? Papa, papa. Gots up to a 30 knots. It's uh, it's good to get in the mood again. What's our speed? Uh, 7.3 with just the Genoa. Which is good, right? Yeah, because we are close to the coastline here. There are a lot of mountains, so it's really gusty. But it's good without engine. Best there is. Trying to, uh, as long as possible, under sail into the bay. And it's really here underneath the coast line, it's very gusty. But I think inside the bay, the wind is really picking up, as you can see over there. So let's see how we, far we can get without starting the engine. So we have anchored, but we're not finished yet. We're gonna um, do landlines, floating landlines to the rocks over there. And then we have this beautiful place to, uh, yeah, to stay the day and maybe the night. It's totally protected away from the wind right now. And it's uh, quite beautiful. We'll be the first time anchoring with landlines again. Two lines, two bandages around the, the rock. It's pretty sharp rock. We have some floating line here. I untangled it all and I'm gonna row back to the boat. We're gonna put it in reverse. Benjamin and I, we are going to another, we're going to explore the bay and today we are going up east. I think we're gonna make a campfire for our lunch or afternoon. Mm -hmm. 